Hi, it's Melissa from Welsh Design Studio. Painting your dated kitchen cabinets is a great way to transform them and create a fresh new look without spending a fortune on remodeling. Now, I love the look of a clean white kitchen and white is always going to be popular, but for those of you who are looking for a little more color in your kitchen, I have rounded up some of the very best paint colors for your kitchen cabinets that aren't white. So let's start with colors in the gray family. Gray is a great choice for a kitchen cabinet paint color because it's very neutral. Light gray cabinets keep things bright and airy while a darker gray can add really beautiful contrast and drama into your kitchen. There are literally hundreds of shades of gray out there, but in general, I recommend going with a slightly warmer shade to avoid having your gray look too blue or too purple. Warm grays also pair perfectly with wood flooring and if you wanna do brass hardware, and you can see that in these gorgeous gray kitchens that we just saw. Here I'm showing some of my favorite gray paint colors for kitchen cabinets. Now Repose Gray by Sherwin-Williams will give you just that slight hint of color, whereas something darker like Benjamin Moore's Kendall Charcoal can give you a really nice dramatic contrast as an island color, or if you wanna do a lower cabinet color when paired with white cabinets. Now I know I mentioned using warm grays for your cabinets, but Coventry Gray is actually quite cool with some blue undertones, but it really looks great with some of the cooler toned marble countertops. Next we have grayages and taupes. If gray is feeling too cold, but you're just not ready for a bolder color on your cabinets, then this might be the perfect color family for you. Grayish is a paint color that sits somewhere between a gray and a beige. While taupe can mean you know, different things to different people, but for this section, I'm including all the paint colors in that grayish, taupe, and mushroom family. While these colors have slightly different characteristics in that you know, some are darker or lighter or some lean more beige or more gray, they're all neutrals that will give your kitchen a really warm, inviting, and refined vibe. Here are some of my favorite grayages and taupes. I would say my top two are Benjamin Moore's Edgecomb Gray, which is a very popular alternative to white these days, and Pashmina. Let's talk about blues. Blue is a classic color that is just both serene and relaxing, which is why you see blue used so often in bedrooms. But blue is a really beautiful choice for a cabinet color, as you can see in these gorgeous kitchens. In general, I recommend a dark navy blue or a blue gray for your kitchen cabinet colors because bolder, more saturated blues could really quickly become overwhelming in a kitchen. Of course, blue is perfect for a coastal home, but it really works great for any style. And dark navy blues are considered to be a very timeless shade for a kitchen. Here are some of my favorite blues. For a navy blue, you just cannot beat Hale Navy. It has both a hint of gray and a tiny bit of green in it, which help keep it looking very sophisticated and it just never leans purple. Let's move on to greens. Green has become a really popular paint color for kitchens in recent years. And when paired with you know, brass accents and natural wood, green really does make a sophisticated statement with a really nice fresh pop of color. From dark forest greens to more silvery sages, there's definitely a unique green hue out there for everyone. Green can be a really perfect choice for casual bohemian design styles, but it can also look really beautiful in transitional style homes. If you're looking for a classic green, Sherwin-Williams Hunt Club is really beautiful. Um, I also have a personal favorite, which is Benjamin Moore Salamander for just a really dark, sophisticated green. And if you want that perfect gray green, give Sherwin-Williams Retreat a try. Finally, we have blacks. Black makes a bold, strong statement in a kitchen, and it looks stunning with wood accents and also brass accents. To keep your kitchen from looking too dark and heavy overall, opt for a light color like white for your upper cabinets, um, your walls, and even your backsplash. And then make sure to incorporate wood accents like oak floating shelves, and that will really help soften and warm up the overall look. For a softer, warmer black, it's really tough to beat the unique look of Sherwin-Williams Urbane Bronze. And if you want a dark, pure black, then Tricorn Black by Sherwin-Williams, the last on this list, is your best bet. The rest of the blacks in here range from more softer off blacks to richer, darker blacks. And the best black for your home is really gonna depend on how much light your kitchen receives. In general, you can go darker with your black in kitchens that get a lot of good natural light, and then go for more of an off black if your kitchen is already a little bit on the darker side. 
Painted kitchen cabinets continue to be a hot trend and are one of the easiest and most inexpensive ways to transform your kitchen. If white isn't the color for you, then hopefully this list has given you some great ideas for kitchen cabinet colors. Plus it's only paint, so if you wanna choose a bold color for your kitchen, go for it. It's only paint and it can always be changed down the road. So how do you choose the right paint color for your kitchen cabinets? Well, the only answer is that you need to sample the colors in your kitchen. Now, I highly recommend the peel and stick vinyl sample sheets from Sampleize, and I'll put a link to that in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be the first to know about future videos.